Mount Etna's activity continued to increase at the start of the new year 2026, marked by a multi-center explosive eruption accompanied by a significant magnitude earthquake. This event provides new insights into the dynamics of rapid magma intrusion in a complex basaltic volcanic system. The high-resolution seismic network of the Instituto Nazionale di Geofisica e Volcanologia INGV, detected a MOLA to 6.3 mainshock at a shallow depth is less than 10 kilometers. With a focal mechanism consistent with fault reactivation due to magmatic pressure, the frequency spectrum shows a transition from a purely tectonic signal to a volcanotectonic character. Temporal analysis reveals that the earthquake was preceded by a continuous increase in volcanic tremor over several weeks, with a sharp amplitude change in the final 48 hours before the eruption. This pattern reflects the migration of magmatic fluids and volatile gases toward the shallow zone. Geodetic data from permanent GPS stations and tilt meters indicate significant inflation in the northeastern sector of Mount Etna. Inversion models indicate the injection of new magma into a shallow reservoir at a depth of 3-5 kilometers. On the 1st of January 2026, the Northeast Crater, Northeast Crater, which had been relatively dormant for nearly three decades, underwent explosive reactivation. This phenomenon indicates a redistribution of internal pressure that led to the reopening of an old magma conduit. The eruption from the northeast crater was characterized by high-angle ballistic pyroclastic outbursts reaching heights of over 90 meters, and the formation of continuous lava fountains. Initial petrological analysis indicates basaltic magma with low viscosity, but a high dissolved gas content. Simultaneous activity in the Boca Nuova and Voragina craters exhibited intermittent strombolian eruptions, confirmed by high-energy infrasound signals. The gas release pattern suggests magma fragmentation triggered by rapid decompression. The eruption column reached a height of approximately 8 kilometers above sea level, producing a predominantly fine-grained ash cloud Ash dispersion modeling indicates the potential for significant atmospheric disruption to regional Mediterranean flight paths. The Voragine crater produced an effusive lava flow extending over 1.6 kilometers eastward. The flow velocity and stability provide a direct link to a shallow, continuously replenished magma reservoir. Following the main shock, a swarm of small to medium magnitude aftershocks was recorded. The distribution of hypocenters indicates the adaptation of the local fault system to changes in magma pressure and volume. Mount Etna is a polygenetic stratovolcano system with a network of branching magma conduits and active fault zones. This complexity makes it a natural laboratory for studying the interaction between regional tectonic processes and active magmatism. Morphologically, 
Etna continues to change due to the accumulation and collapse of eruptive material. Its current summit height is estimated at around 3,325 meters. But this value is dynamic and sensitive to major eruptive events. From a geodynamic perspective, Etna's activity is offset by the interaction of the African and Eurasian plates, where local lithospheric strain facilitates the upwelling of the magma layer. This strong seismic episode emphasizes the role of tectonic structures in controlling magma flow. The series of eruptions throughout 2025 2026, exhibited a wide variety of eruption styles. Still, this New Year's event stands out for its close coupling between large earthquakes and the reactivation of an old crater, a combination relatively rarely documented in detail. Overall, this episode confirms that Mount Etna is in a phase of active magmatic disequilibrium. Real-time integration of seismic, geodetic, and volcanological data is key to understanding the evolution of this system and improving risk mitigation in the surrounding densely populated areas.